Diamond Veil. Shattered Memories. By Eric Hua. Chapter 9. Prisoner Visit. Search the Premise. Arnov woke up abruptly from his slumber, sweating and breathing heavily. He wiped the sweat off his forehead with his arm as he tried to get over the nightmare. However, he wouldn't have much time to himself as his train of thought was interrupted. Hashitha was annoyed as Arnov caused her to wake up in the middle of the night. He quickly apologized and asked her if she knew where Diamond Vale kept their prisoners. She was unwilling to say, until Arnov mentioned that telling him would put him to sleep easier, giving Hashitha an undisturbed night. She revealed that there was a hidden prison underneath the Colosseum. Later that night, when the lights went off, Arnov got out of his bed and left the hospital through the window. As he quietly moved on the rooftops, he was reminiscing about the nightmare he had, where he kept seeing the intruder. When he arrived at the Colosseum, he looked around the area but never found any trace of a prison. Suddenly, he heard a noise and hid behind cover. One of the enforcers walked up and pressed a switch that blended into the wall of the Colosseum. When activated, part of the wall moved aside revealing a wooden door. The guard did a very specific knock sequence before the door opened. The guards were in the midst of switching shifts. After the two parted ways, Arnov made sure the coast was cleared before he repeated everything he saw. He pressed the hidden switch and then did the knock sequence. The guard opened the door but saw no one there. That was when Arnov jumped on him, pulled the enforcer's stun baton and used it against him. Arnov made his way through the prison until he found the man he was looking for. The mask of the intruder was off but the shadows were covering his face. Arnov demanded for him to step into the light where he could get a better look. He did as he was told but Arnov still could not recognize him. The intruder was disappointed but not surprised. He mentioned that someone had altered his memories and that caught Arnov's attention. However, guards were beginning to enter the prison and Arnov had little time. Before leaving, Arnov asked for the man's name. Devon. Barging into the jail was a unit of guards who were ready to arrest the person who broke in. However, when they arrived, all they could find was Devon by himself, smiling. Arnov had escaped the prison thanks to Devon's help. He returned to the hospital where he wondered about what Devon said about his memories. Morning had returned in Nadir, with Sahil opening up the dining hall. As he was setting up, he saw Myla taking a seat by herself. It wasn't long until Jacob barged in looking for her. He told Myla that there were enforcers from Zenith after her, and they were on their way. With no way to escape, Sahil told Myla to run to her room and he would handle everything else. Entering Sahil's business were for masked enforcers sent from Zenith. Jacob was sitting off to the side and keeping an eye on the situation. The leader of the enforcers stepped up to ask Sahil if he had seen the girl in his report. Sahil pretended he had no idea who he was talking about but the commander did not believe him. He ordered his enforcers to search the rooms. After doing a search of all the rooms, the enforcers reconvened and reported to their leader that there was no sign of the girl. Sahil smiled confidently as they couldn't find anything. The leader was about to leave when one of his enforcers realized that there was still one room they didn't check. The commander was about to check the room, but Max took the initiative and went in alone. Right after he closed the door, Myla appeared and kicked him. She was ready to continue attacking until Max took off his mask. She recognized him from back in the forest. The rookie told her that his allies were here to arrest her, but he decided that he was going to let her go. Milo was confused so Max explained that the reason he joined the enforcers was to arrest criminals and psychopaths. After his encounter with Myla in the polluted wilds, Max could feel no ill intent in Myla's actions. He couldn't bring himself to arrest someone who was innocent. Max put on his mask again and was about to leave the room. However, before he left, Myla asked if he would tell her his name. When Myla heard Max's name, she felt a slight pain in her head again. The rookie enforcer returned to the halls of the inn and shook his head to his commander. Frustrated, the leader stomped his way out and his enforcers followed soon after as they returned to Zenith.